Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NI EBS home school this is Fatima Tujohra assistant teacher of Islamic studies national ideal English version school morning shift dear students today I am going to take a class for the students of class 10 and our today's topic is chapter number 2 lesson number 22 and 23 it is about ijma and kiyas source of sharia you know that the source of sharia are here four Quran, Hadith, Isma, and Kiyas. These four sources of Sharia are here in describing your book. Now we are discussing about the Isma and Kiyas. Dear students, it is lecture number 4, chapter number 2, lesson number 22 and 23. It is HW number 3. Now come to today's lesson. It is chapter number 2, lesson 22. It is about the source of Isma, source of the Sharia, Al Isma. You know the third source of Sharia is Isma. Isma is in Arabic word. Its <coughs> etymological meanings are to agree, to be united, to establish the agreed opinion, etc. This is the worldly meaning of Isma. Here, in the particular sense or practical sense you can say to come to a common position on a matter or discuss is called isma so what is called isma you have gotten here you have to do this one is hw the islamic parlance the conscience of the pious mustahids okay of a certain age of a particular issue is termed as isma here is the definition of isma you have gotten knowledge based question application based question answer you have gotten here isma may take place in any age subsequent of to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay here is important part is this rays of isma where it come it is no new phenomena to solve any problem or introduce a new regulation by isma or conscience Rather, its use or practice has been noticeable from the time of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, so it is coming from the age of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is not a new thing. Any Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself would seek advice of his companions on various issues. So it is important. Okay, from where the source of Isma has come. You can learn it in your book also of the agreed opinion Allah the Most High said Amur whom Shura Abayna whom and their affairs are resolved on the basis of mutual consultation. Shura Shura verse number 38. It is also important here. Here is the significance of Isma her here and rule of order or Isma and its effect okay effectiveness it is also important here you can underline in your book also and you have to learn this part memorize this part also here importance of isma are given here kuntum khairu ummatin ukhrijat linnas meaning you are the best community you have been raised as such for the benefit of whole of mankind memorizing these things and if you give these things in the answer of cd your marks will be raised wa kazalika ja'alnakum ummatan wasatan litakunu shuhada ala nas here girls and boys it is also important for you about the importance of isma here is the another verse you can give highly says the allah the most high says in the context when you share your rasul when you share your rasul mim ba'dima tabayyana lakul huda wa yattaba' wa yattabi' ghayru sabili al-mu'minina wa nuallihi ma tawalla wa nuslihi jahannam if anybody oppose the prophet after the truth is revealed and treads the path contrary contrary to the one followed by the muslims then he we shall let him term to that which he chooses and cast him into the hell so it is the verse of surah nisa verse number 115 and here another uh, thing Allah said the path of movements as mentioned in this verse or in this ayat indicates to the isma here is here directing okay here direct 
Prophet Sallallahu saying about the isma. Okay, meeting or uh, making the unity any any confusing of about Sharia, uh, any terms and condition, any rules and regulations. So we have to depend on isma. We have to follow these things. We have to respect these things. And importance of isma are vast in Islamic Sharia. Oh, here and other verses you have gotten Mawahul Muslimuna Hasanan Fahu in the law Hasana. Whatever the Muslim prefer that is preferable to Allah too. Okay. So about the preference here saying so the uh, wise person or the scholars of Mus uh, Muslims about among the Muslims, the scholars they will decide the thing. It will be all of course the good thing understand according to Quran and Hadith these are also very important for you you have to memorize these things it is the verses Tirmizi Hadith of Tirmizi so Isma is not of the tools of Sharia its legality is proved all Al Quran and Hadith it is obligatory to act upon it so it is obligatory to us to act upon um, on Isma so it is the one of the most important source of Sharia so what is Isma what is the importance of Isma when it is raised up and uh, how how it rule understand how it is came uh, or how it united generally you have to uh, read it uh, the underlying part very important for you now come to the next lesson it is lesson number 23 another source of sharia fourth source of sharia it is kiyas you know the kiyas here fourth source of sharia it is important the underlying part are very important for you you can find out the answer or hw part also you can hear understand here on the resemblance of the laws of principle which are founded on al quran and sunnah is called kiyas so definition of kiyas you have found here definition of care in in other word you can say that kiyas is to solve a problem the solution of which is not available in quran and sunnah and ijma also hai? by applying personal re reasoning in accordance with the islamic principle so here is in short here is short of the definition of isma and here broadly so importance of uh, here importance of kiyas are mass vast in islamic sharia now you can come here next here uh, about this importance uh, allah the almighty says in quran then oh you who have sight you derive lesson so uh, here the fourth um, source of sharia it is very important it is the kiyas so unity or it is also kiyas is the last layer of Sharia this last layer of the Sharia after this no source of Sharia here it is applicable only when there is no clear solution of problem in Al Quran Hadith or Isma then the Kiyas will come understand the Rasul has encouraged his Shahabas about Kiyas for instance while sending Hazrat Muaz ibn Jabal Rahmatullah to Yemen as a judge he asked him when a problem will crop up how will you solve it then Hazrat Muaz said he replied I shall solve it according to the book of Allah Rasulullah asked again what then if uh, if you do not find it there then he said that he then according to the sunnah of his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam again rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked that if you don't find any it, it even there then how then most radiallahu ta'ala said then say thus and then i shall deliver the um, verdict by applying my intellect and conscience okay on hearing his reply rabbi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said all praises are due to Allah who had such replies even to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by his deputy as pleased his Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about Abu Dawud. So you have gotten the clear idea about the kiyas. When, when any problem solution you have you found direct in Quran, you have to follow that one. If there is no Quran verses but Hadith you have gotten, you have to follow that one. If Quran and Hadith reference the same thing, you have to follow that one. If there is no answer or uh, solution of that problem in Quran and Hadith, then it will be the Isma. That means the scholars of Islamic scholars united in a 
uh, opinion so we, we have to follow that one understand if there is no opinion of, of quran hadith and ijma are available over there then we have to come to kiyas understand so it is very important about the source of fourth source of sharia kiyas or private just by research has been encouraged by the ayat of al quran and hadith of rasulullah as mentioned above so there is no doubt about kiyas being one of the source of sharia it is also important so you have to know these things also okay principles of kiyas here are some principles of kiyas you have to memorize this it is it is b c and d they are very important you have to you have to memorize this a b c d these are principles of kiyas okay so here in fact kiyas is a scientific and logical source of islamic sharia kiyas has rendered islamic law dynamic and lent universality to it it is now possible through kiyas to offer necessary regulation and principles on the novel and non conventional issues of current globalization so it is it is now clear so uh, till here we have done today so it is uh, lesson number 23 about the uh, kiyas okay now dear students here it is your hw hw number 3 what is isma you have to Uh, give answer here according to two marks applic application based question and what is kiyas you have to find out the answer in the underlined part from your book and you have to uh, give the answer or get to the hw and you have to learn this also here the this important principles of kiyas this four one two four a to d you have to learn this is very important for all of you So that's all for today dear students I hope that you have understood today's lesson and you will do the HW very carefully with the help of this lesson you can do the HW that's all for today assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh